Good evening. The director of the FBI has made an outspoken attack on the Scottish government's decision to release the man convicted of the Lockerbie bombing. He says it makes a mockery of the rule of law and gives comfort to terrorists around the world. Meanwhile here, Lord Mandelson has denied that uh, there was any deal with Libya over the release of the Lockerbie bomber, Abdul Basset al-Megrahi. The business secretary called any such allegation completely wrong and offensive. We'll have the latest from Washington in just a minute. First, though, this report from our political correspondent, Laura Koonsberg. The images that the British government did not want to see. The convicted Lockerbie bomber welcomed home publicly by the Libyan leader with words of admiration for Scottish politicians who granted his freedom. I praise their courage for having proved their independence in decision making despite the unacceptable and unreasonable pressures they faced. But worse for Westminster politicians, who've always insisted Megrahi's release had nothing to do with them. There was praise from Gaddafi for Gordon Brown and the Queen for encouraging the Scottish decision. And even on the plane that took Mr Megrahi back to Libya, Colonel Gaddafi's son said the bomber's fate had always been part of deals done. Truthfully, all the deals, trade, oil, gas, honoured by us, you were always at the table. I could never have imagined that I would be able to come back home at all. The pressure was tremendous and it was so difficult for them to release me. But praise be to God for everything. Saif Gaddafi, who escorted Mr Megrahi home, did meet the business secretary Lord Mandelson recently, but he rejects any suggestion of a deal. What do you expect? The, the, the London to phone up uh, the Scottish Nationalist Administration in, uh, in, in, in Edinburgh and say, you know, now let him out? I mean, it's, it's, it's not only wrong, it's completely implausible and actually quite offensive. The Foreign Office is categoric. There was no deal, they say. And the government's clearly infuriated by the manner of Megrahi's return. But the questions continue. The Conservatives are demanding more clarity from ministers over contacts they had with Libya. The Prime Minister has invested in building up trade links with Libya. But Colonel Gaddafi's response to the release of the Lockerbie bomber puts his government in an awkward corner. Laura Kunzberg, BBC News. Well, let's get the latest now from our correspondents in Washington and London. In a few moments, we'll be talking to Laura Koonsberg, who is there for us in London. First, though, let's go to Washington, and our correspondent, Imtiaz Tayeb, joins us from there. And Imtiaz, this uh, is a very unusual move. Tell us uh, exactly what he said. Yes, uh, a very unusual move, uh, uh, a very stinging uh, and outspoken uh, attack by um, the FBI director, Robert Mueller, to uh, the Scottish minister, Kenny McCaskill. Uh, in this letter, um, Mr. Mueller spells out the fact that he was the assistant attorney general in charge of the investigation and indictment of Megrahi in 1991, so he played a role in this case as well. Uh, and in this very strongly worded letter, he says, uh, indeed, your action makes a mockery of the rule of law. It gives comfort to terrorists around the world who now believe that regardless of the quality of the investigation, the conviction by jury and a sentence appropriate to the crime, the terrorist will be freed by one man's exercise of compassion. He also goes on to say in this letter, you apparently made this decision without regard to the views of your partners in the investigation and prosecution of those responsible for the Lockerbie tragedy. Although the FBI and Scottish police and prosecutors in both countries worked very closely together to hold those responsible accountable, you never once sought uh, our opinion, preferring to keep your own counsel hiding behind opaque references to the need for compassion. So some very, very strong words uh, coming from the FBI leader. Uh, and he ends his uh, letter, I should say, with a question saying, where I ask is the justice? A question, of course, uh, many of the victims' families uh, have been asking themselves. Yeah, very, very strongly worded, as you say. And he opens his letter by saying that he would never normally do this. Just how unusual is this? Well, it's very surprising. Uh, it's uh, although we have heard some very respect. strong language coming out of uh, the White House, uh, the press secretary Robert Gibbs calling this 
uh, the release of Mr. McGraw, and of course his welcome home uh, to Tripoli uh, in Libya as a hero, uh, as outrageous and disgusting. And now we have this letter coming uh, from uh, the director of the FBI. It's come as a surprise, uh, and uh, it is in many ways unprecedented to have uh, the leader of the FBI write such a strongly worded letter uh, and make it public uh, and send it uh, to uh, another government uh, official about a decision he's clearly not very happy about. Okay, MTS uh, in Washington, thanks very much indeed for the moment. Well, uh, we can just uh, tell you we have some breaking news because we've just uh, got a response uh, from the Scottish Government. It says Mr McCaskill rejected the prisoner transfer option negotiated by the UK and Libyan governments and which the United States strongly opposed. Mr Al Magrahi has been sent back to Libya to die a convicted man. It goes on uh, to say in his statement Mr McCaskill paid tribute to the tenacity and skill with the police and prosecutors working in Scotland. The United States States and elsewhere conducted their investigation. Mr. Al McGrahi was properly investigated, a lawful conviction passed and a life sentence imposed. So that the response we have just had from the Scottish Government to the letter that was sent by the director of the FBI to the Scottish Justice Minister, Kenny McCaskill. Well, we Paul, should McGrahi, convicted of the Lockerbie bombing, be freed? Yes, free him. He was only following Gaddafi's orders, and we need the Libyan oil deals, so just forget it. Profits before justice. Or... No, keep him locked up. If Gaddafi wants to come in from the cold, he can share Megrahi's prison cell. Discuss with me, Peter Dow, and other viewers of this video by registering your own username account with the Far Freedom Forums.